Here's Coach Steve Fisher back on Scott and BR on the Mighty 1090. Hi, Coach. Hello, Scott, BR, Linda. How are you guys? Doing really good tonight. Doing How are you? Great. Right. Good, thanks. Yeah. Hey, Coach, um, first of all, I heard the coaches' show last night, and we had your man Akil Quinn in studio, and he stuck around and hung out, and I heard you guys a little bit on the air together. Akil Quinn, I think, may have a future as a broadcaster. I would co-sign that. Uh, <laughs> he, uh, he's smart. He's been there. He, uh, I think he has a, a, a very strong interest in it, and if he has a passion for it, Maybe we can put him under your tutelage and uh, we can learn him a few things. Well, you know what? I think yesterday he learned some things immediately, which is be yourself. You know what he said on the air? It was hilarious. I was saying, man, he got these great-looking earrings on, these two big, gigantic diamonds, and he goes, yeah, I got them at the Nordstrom Rack. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so, you know, I wouldn't let him wear that when we traveled. So he's oh, making man. up for it now. <laughs> when he, when he admitted that they were just, you know, Hey, pieces North of glass. It was great. You bet. It was awesome. And it was fun. It was fun listening to you guys on the radio together last night. That was kind of cool. He came to practice, Scott, and uh, watched a little bit. I, I yelled out instructions like he was an assistant coach. And then he came to me and said, got to go, coach. I got to go do some radio. That's all he said. I said, really? I said, okay, well, have a good time. I'll talk to you. I hope you can come to the game tomorrow. I didn't know he was going to be <laughs> doing some stuff uh, last night with, with the, the, the coaches show and then doing some things for you uh, for 1090 tomorrow. Yeah, he's going to be wow. involved in the pregame, the halftime, the postgame show. Akil right. Quinn making his name for himself off the court, which is pretty exciting. And, Coach, just one little plug here. Uh, for the show Game Time Ready on Fox Sports San Diego, I don't know if you've seen Akil and DJ and James Rahan. I mean, we, we are really taking a lot of these former San Diego State players and giving them an opportunity to decide if if broadcasting and media is something that they're interested in. These kids are doing a great job. Even Tim Shelton, too. Have you seen this? I have not seen it. I've, I'm shame on me, uh, but that's fantastic. I'm very happy for them and uh, – appreciative of the opportunity well wait a second next week you have to watch because did you hear what happens on the next show no what oh yeah so uh dj and aq go to a restaurant in la jolla called barbarella oh i know what happens with that show yeah. yes I, I i'm aware i wasn't aware that that was the next show yeah and so your wife and coach dutcher's wife are are going to have lunch prepared by and served by dj and aq and it's supposed to be fantastic wow I have heard the same, so I'm very much looking forward to it. All right, very cool. Coach Steve Fisher on Scott and BR on the Mighty 1090. Coach, um, how would you describe the difference in this team right now in Mountain West Conference play versus the team we saw lose games at home in the early part of the preseason? What is the difference? We're more confident, more comfortable in uh, who we are and how we're supposed to play. I think no, we know more. This is for me. I think each player now has a better feeling for when his shot's going to come, what his shot should be. Those those types of things have helped us. But I also think that uh, we have practiced, and I've said this before. I said it on your show. Our practices are more spirited. They're better to a man. We have a scout team that I think could beat some Division One teams uh, the way they're practicing and that helps everybody but our players are enjoying one another in practice and then the, the the most important thing when you win a game it gives you confidence when you win close games it gives you confidence and we've done we've done all of the above we're six and oh in each of those six games mm -hmm. with five minutes to go either team could win the game and we wound up winning all of them it's been a nice run Coach Steve Fisher from San Diego State on Scott and BR on the Mighty 1090. I don't know who I'm more impressed with right now, Trey Kell and his scoring or what Jeremy Hemsley's doing as a freshman kind of quarterbacking this team. But I think on top of all of that, I love what's going on with Winston Shepard. I, I think that young man, we had him on earlier this week, has handled himself like a true pro this year. And I think the whole team has kind of rallied behind him and Skyler acting like seniors. I, I think that's just my own outside perspective you are spot on with that with the last part way to uh, go man every team's better when you have senior leadership they don't always have to be your best players 
in our case, Winston is one of, if not the best player, and he's taking some ownership and responsibility in, in how to lead and doing things the right way. And I'm very, very proud of what he has done, both on and off the floor. And Skyler has been fantastic. He's not a natural talker type leader. He's assumed more of that as this season has gone on. And uh, he's done a remarkable job himself from that standpoint. And that in itself has helped both of them. And I'll use Skyler in particular. It's helped their game. Their willingness to step out of the box a little bit, Skyler, and, and say, I need to take some ownership in what we do, is helping make him a better player. He's a more confident player. And he's a more productive player. Coach Steve Fisher on Scott and BR on the Mighty 1090. Hey, Coach, um, 3 o'clock tomorrow. Kind of a strange start time, I think. Uh, not too many day games. But I want to remind everybody it's 3 o'clock, not 7 o'clock. Make sure you get to the arena, you know, get parked, get in, and, and bring some energy tomorrow. Because um, Utah State, that game was early in January. The last time you played them, it was a 70-67 to 67 game. They're, you know, let's, let's not go to sleep on, on Utah State and let's keep this winning streak alive. And there's no question about that. Uh, Mike May told me that all the tickets were out, all picked up and out, the ones that were re- returned by Utah State, and all the student tickets are out. So I am very optimistic. We'll have a lot of a lot of folks in the stands, and and they help us win. There's no question that the energy created by our fans helps us be a better basketball team. And uh, the 3 o'clock starts, they are. We, we don't have many of those. Uh, but we got one, and that will afford families to come with younger kids and not have to worry about getting enough sleep and getting ready for school and all of that. So uh, we're excited about that. Utah State's good. Uh, they were picked second before the big sh- seven-foot center decided on the eve of practice to leave the program. But they are very good. Jalen Moore and Smith. Are there two uh, veteran players, and they lead the team? We had a three-point win, as you said. We were one point ahead with 34 seconds to go when when Zylan made a reverse layup to, to put us up three. So this is a good team coming in here, and it will we will take a good game from us and a lot of help from our friends in the stands to get ourselves our seventh straight victory. Coach, what are you doing tonight? Well, I'm on my way home from Mark's. Uh, just dropped him off from practice. And Angie and I are going to get a little something to eat and uh, relax a little bit, and then I'll watch a little bit more game tape on Utah State. I didn't know if maybe you were going to a high school basketball game tonight. No, not tonight. Um, uh, I, there are a lot of them out there, a lot of good ones out there tonight. No question about it. Maybe it's Donovan's again. Is it Donovan's with you and the wife again? No, I'm not making Donovan's tonight. No, I don't know. It, it, I, I can't, that, my budget can't afford Donovan's every night. <laughs> <laughs> well, you should get a raise. <laughs> you deserve it. You deserve every penny and How, more. How's Mark doing? People always ask me, and I always tell them from what I know he's doing great. How's he doing? He's doing great. Uh, he is holding his own with the disease he's battling, and uh, every day at practice we go in together and uh, – He's very involved in what we do. Takes a lot of pride in being a part of the program and uh, going great. Awesome. Love to hear it. Coach, before you go, so many people are talking about Kawhi Leonard being a starter in the All-Star game. And, you know, when he won the MVP of the finals a couple years ago, I think most of us were like, wow, Kawhi Leonard. Nowhere. Like, like he was good, yeah. but we never saw this. Now Charles Barkley says he's the best player on the planet. I'll, I'll ask it this way, Coach. I mean, could you have could you have foreseen that Kawhi would be this good? I don't know that anybody would say that about any player. Maybe a LeBron, maybe maybe a Michael Jordan, but he's at the elite elite level. There's no question about that. I knew. I, I've had guys. Chris Webber was the number one guy taken in the NBA draft. And I knew he was going to have a long, successful career if he could stay healthy. He ran into later in his career some some knee issues, but he had a great career. With Kawhi, I knew. Didn't I? Didn't think I knew that Kawhi was uh, 
would be a, a long-time pro player with a wonderful career if he could stay healthy. But I don't think anyone said he's going to do what he's done so far. I'm very proud and excited for him, happy for him. And, it, you know, all that, as you know, pays residuals for us at San Diego State. But most importantly, we're happy for Kawhi and his family. Uh, it's a wonderful, wonderful opportunity, and he's taken, them, taken and made the most of it. No doubt about it. No question. Coach, good luck tomorrow. Look forward to seeing you, and uh, thank you very much for the time. Enjoy tonight. Go get him, Coach. Okay, gang. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. Coach Steve Fisher on Scout and BR.